Hi, okay, for this next part of the tutorial I'll show you how to uh, get coordinates off a drawing. So we'll go to open and I'll open up the parking options drawing. Okay, once again, you can't do anything in model space, that's just for plotting, so go to, uh, sorry, paper space, so go to model space. And there you go, zoom in. So say we need the coordinates of, I don't know, the corner of this curb here. You can type ID and then once again snapped on, or if not, you can always press and hold down the shift key and the right button to turn on snap. So you get the corner of there, and then you see it's 378294.7044. Okay, that does, doesn't look right. So you look at the corners of the building, which they have given coordinates for, you can see it's on a different coordinate system. Another thing you might notice as well is if you go to uh, measure, I'm going to measure the length of the building. Okay, 21,700 millimeters. So not only is it uh, on a different coordinate system, it's on a different scale as well. So we're not going to be able to get coordinates directly off this drawing. This is a pretty normal thing for uh, most designers, they move things around. And especially for external works, you're going to be using a, a you know a site coordinate system, not necessarily a grid coordinate system. But luckily there are there are a few points that we do know the coordinates of. So basically we've got to move this so it fits those coordinates. Okay, one thing I found is not to do the actual design drawing itself, but to use a thing called an XREF, which I'll show you now. So if we go to uh, we'll start a new drawing and template. Yeah, just say open that this is a new drawing and what we'll do we'll, we'll XREF that other drawing into it and I'll explain why in a, in a minute. Now if you go to uh, insert and you go to the external reference so you attach there is the parking layers and we'll open that and scale well we want to scale it by 0.001 so it's in meters, not uh, millimeters. And we want the uniform scale. You notice know, as I type that, they are all scaled the same. That's because this is ticked. If it was unticked, they wouldn't wouldn't come up. Okay, so we'll just drop it in at the right coordinates, right uh, scale rather. Zoom in, and you notice an XREF because it is an XREF, not actually part of this drawing. But it's slightly darker in color. You may or may not notice that depending on the your screen. Okay, and just as a, this is a quick check, we go back to home. We'll do a distance. We'll measure the distance from there to there. There you go. It's 21.7. So yeah, we're now measuring in, in meters. But we've still got the problem of not being on these coordinates. And the simplest way I found of doing that, we're going to have to move that corner. Let's pick two longest. We'll go that corner and that corner, and we'll move this drawing onto them. So the easiest way I found of doing this is simply by drawing a circle. So if you go on the, the home tab and it's the draw circle and it's going to be center radius. So just click it once. Now it's asking for notice down here on the command line circle specify the center point. Well the center point is going to be we'll type that coordinate in so it's just typing straight in 10 32 point eight two six and then you just do comma and then to the northings which is gonna be six five nine point four six seven and then enter so you got them and then it asks for the radius but if I uh, zoom out on the mouse you see it's over there somewhere so let's make it that by that big that'll do that's the first circle. Now we need to do this one, so you can go back to circle again. Once again, it's asking for the center point. So it's down here in the command line, which is going to be 1055.313, comma in between 671.708. Once again, that's just down at the bottom in the command line, specify radius, 
you notice the radius of the previous point is there as a default so we'll just use the same radius and we'll press enter again obviously you don't actually have to be able to see the circles to uh, draw them but if we zoom out we'll just double check that they are there there you go, that's the, uh, the two circles which correspond to these two corners here so what we need to do now is move this to fit so we go to the move and we want to move this which, which is because it's an XRF it's one entity so you just only have to click it, it's not like you're just clicking that line and then you have to click that line and that line it's all one entity because it's an XRF so you click it and then notice down here on the command line again it's the select objects one found so then enter to say okay we found them now it's asking down here on the command line to specify the base point of the displacement so the base point is going to be this corner here once again snaps on so you could the actual corner never zoom in and try and pick it roughly use always use snap make sure it's on the right one so you go snap into the corner we go from there and we want to move it now it's asking at the bottom specify second point so this is where we want to move it to and we want to move that corner to the center of that circle now we haven't got the snap, snap on for center so it's hold down the shift key on the keyboard right click on the mouse and we'll go to the center and now you notice there's a little circle appears so we're going to jump, automatically jump to the center of the circle there you go so now this corner is at the right coordinate but this corner isn't so what we need to do now is rotate to get it online so you go up to the modifier and you go rotate uh, pick the drawing so once again it's all highlighted no, so keep always keep track of what that is asking you down in the uh, command line again so yeah one found so right click to say okay that's that's the object we want to rotate now it's asking for the base point so, so the fulcrum of the rotation and we want that to be center of the circle or end of the line same thing so there you go that's going to be the actual rotation point so you can rotate it around and what we want to rotate it to well what we're going to do is we want to rotate at a reference so specify angle or reference well if you knew what the actual angle was we could type it in it looks like about 30 something degrees but uh, it's a lot easier if you go reference so type R because it's capital at the bottom this is a capital letter here you see so you just type R and there you go specify the reference so you want the reference angle so what you do first of all is you draw from there to there right so that's the base of your angle now it wants the new angle which is it's always knows it's going to be from the fulcrum point so the new angle is going to be to the center of this circle so we shift right button center so we've rotated from this angle to this angle and there you go and it's always a good idea just as a check it's obviously checking to the two corners so we know these two are at the right coordinates so we type ID again ID enter and then we'll click onto the corner of here and it tells you 1065 684 actually says down here as well and then 652 ok you always get a tiny little bit of rounding but to the millimetre it should be good enough so there it is rotated on so now once again if you wanted the corner this corner here ID that will give you a real coordinate of the curve ok now the reason I use this XRF to the original drawing in is because quite often in construction drawings tend to change well if the drawing changed you'd have to do that all over again but because it's an XRF you can repoint it so the way to do that if you go to insert and use this little button here it will open the XRF uh, dialog box which as you can see tells you all the XRFs in the drawing so this is the current drawing that's from the icon and this is the XRF parking ledge now if I click it 
give you some details down here at the bottom. I'll make this a little bit bigger. Give you some details down here at the bottom. Okay, and that tells you where it's found at. Now if I click this, and the little ellipsis at the end, I can tell it to look somewhere else for this drawing, and I'm going to look for revision A. If I open that, you may have noticed that the parking layout has changed, it was going that way before. This is the other drawing. So if I undo it again. So that was the original. I'll just repoint it. Oh, that one. Find that. Revision 8. It's just switched it across. But I haven't had to rotate everything again, so all the coordinates are all of the same. So it's usable. Okay, I hope that's useful.